Okay, welcome back to part three of Worm Online Let's Play. I am Larry, I hate you, and we are in the rain, and it's either dusk or dawn. I've moved the microphone away from my face a little bit so that my sighing and lip smacking doesn't annoy too many people. And we are now walking back to New Dawn. Now, one thing I want to mention here while we're going is in the second video, my first recording, I talked about upgrading tools. Um, your introductory weapons and items and tools and everything you get, um, you can't upgrade them any. So the quality, you can never raise it. This is why eventually we will be making our own tools. Um, right now we are taking this pinewood log back up to New Dawn. And I also hope that the game audio is coming through a little bit better. It's supposed to be birds chirping and every once in a while some music. Uh, another thing to note about the night. Um, you can have the faint light from the deities when you're in your 24 hour intro. It's not as good. I mean, you can tell that it's kind of lighter around you, but nighttime can be really brutal. I just like it immensely. And we're walking. Walking. sand up here yet. I wonder if that's intentional since we're very near the town. Okay. Now, I'm pretty sure the next thing she's going to tell us to do is to turn that log into planks. But it's a little trickier than that. We have absolutely no skill in carpentry. But... We'll give it a shot a couple times here, then I'll probably stop the video until I have some planks made. For the quest, you only need one of them. But for most things that you build, you need quite a few. So, receive the instructions. Kindling! Okay, so I am wrong. She wants us to make a fire. So the easiest way to do that is to click on a tool, sure it's active. This all will work since we activated here. Right click on the log and we have a create. Now we can make quite a few things by using the saw with the planks I was talking about. But first we're going to try kindling. And we start to work and make a fire. Which is easier said than done. After we make the kindling we have to light the kindling without failing. If we fail we get wood scrap. go. First time through. That was nice. So, we shall go ahead and open up. Light the fire. Yes. Right. So, to do that, we need to double click our steel and flint. And so much junk in this newbie town. I am going to go Put the fire out here, maybe. So, go there, and just like doing the log, it's under the create campfire. And the percent chance is how hard it is for you to complete the action. The higher is better, I believe. That was quite easy. So, you're going to... Uh, no. Can't take any of those logs. Um, on the f more advanced servers, the wild server and the premium servers, 
Uh, you can steal stuff. Kill people. Lots of other nasty things. So, now it says we need to go gather some food. Go out and forage. So, to forage, you need grass or flowers. And, I just, actually, I think you can forage on the step. No, apparently you can only botanize on the step. Nature, forage, and like everything else, we sit and wait for the progress bar. I'm gonna go ahead and forage a couple places here. Whatever's in range, and queue up a few because you don't always find something. Then again, maybe I will find something. Garlic, yummy, yummy garlic. Um. One of the things about food, the best object on food that I've found so far has been fishing. You can get some pretty high quality fish and they weigh so much more than going out and foraging through the ground. So, back to the Mythbuster. You'd think you'd get copyright issues. Also, I also know that garlic can be planted and farmed, so I don't want to eat that. Hopefully she doesn't tell me to do that. Yes. Within your 24 hours when you start, you can get free food and drink from the bartender in any of the three major towns. Which, we don't really need it yet, since the quest is telling us to stuff your face, Stevie. Ask for refreshment. And completely. Totally full on food and water. So. Back over here. Now do you want the planks? Digging. Okay. Go out and dig some dirt. And drop the dirt. Yeah, dirt is heavy. Digging is actually one of the things that I've just recently learned how to do. Um, if you're flattening something, it's a lot better to just dig in the actual tile um, than try to use the flatten command. You'll see when we get out of here. Okay. Uh, I think I want to dig out here in the step because this grass will turn to dirt. At least a step doesn't keep someone from finding food. So, when you dig, you dig in the corners of the tile. So, you move yourself over to the corner you want to lower with digging. Select your shovel, make sure it's active, and click dig. That's killed it. Yeah. We're pretty, pretty noobish at this point. So this hill right here is just too much to dig on. Which is a little annoying. We'll see if we can dig up here, maybe. Still not. Well, that's the trouble with digging. It takes some getting used to. Um, the f I have read that using flatten, you can train your skills on. But we are out of time, so I shall see you in the next video.